construction manual. Turn cargo rack. Tip number one, sometimes it helps to take time and uh, read the manual. Tip number two, get the right tools. Tip number three, have a little patience, many parts might need a lot of screwing. Even with all the faffing about, this rack seems to be good. So if you're new to this channel, I like biking, coffee, camping, the outdoors in general, and uh, all the gear that comes with it. For this episode, we're taking a look at the Turn Cargo Rack. I have a Turn Link D8, and it's an older model, and I've been using it for almost two years and I've been trying to keep it all stock but some parts need uh, replacing and uh, I've had it for almost two years I guess and uh, time for an upgrade much needed upgrade I used the term pretty much for anything from going on bike trips you know coffee outside or just the regular trip to the market or to the groceries so i i use the panniers a lot i also use a decathlon between 20 liter pannier it's waterproof but it, 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 it's not an ort leave uh it's malaya sa ort leave na madali i attach and whatever you mechanism na gamit ng archive anyway and after two years or three years boy pa rin so yun um nilalagay ko dyan sa rear rack and kailangan mo siyang ilagay sa medyo likod na part ewan ko kung yan din yung ginagawa ng iba but it yeah it kinda works kasi ko talagang tumatama lagi I've definitely upgrade I would have upgraded to to the cargo rack a lot sooner so look it's secure hindi siya basta basta kakalas hey, the thing with the velcro I hate the velcro uh, um, basta may weight lang yung yung pannier uh, hindi naman siya magfa flap siguro kung maluwag lang magfa flap siya Medyo hassle kasi yung <laughs> yung older version nito eh. Ah, Sige. yung binubolt po. Yung may velcro. Mm -hmm. Ah, malaki yung 20. Yung 20 sa akin yung 20. Sa akin yung 20 lang eh. Yung itim na may oh. linya. Yun po, oh. meron pa rin na. Ah, oh. uh, yun. Naka-adjust na. So, depende rin doon sa ano, sa lapad nung mga gatla, na-adjust mo rin siya. Hmm. Tapos dito rin po. So, conforme sa pagkalagyan, na-adjust nyo siya. Ay, kailangan lang i-adjust mo so, para po, sa akin. I-adjust rin based doon sa lalagyan na rock. Yung reason talaga kung bakit gusto ko mag-upgrade because of the clearance. It's probably because the pannier got a bit old and a bit deformed. I don't know. Sometimes na feel ko <laughs> na tumatama sa gulong and yeah, parang safety issue. It's been bugging me for a while, so okay, why not upgrade? 
So this is the cargo rack. Bought it off Lazada sa Juni store. Sila din yung distributor ng turn. Comes with the red reflector. Actually, surprised ako na disassembled lahat and eh, packed really nicely on that bag. So, merong crucial na hindi ko ginawa. I should have read the instruction manual. Slightly nag-struggle ako throughout the whole process. So, yan. Um... Tinanggal ko na yung rear rack and least excuse to dirt. <laughs> uh, yeah, so <laughs> medyo na yan naman ako pinapahid lang muna ng konti. So it comes with many parts and you're supposed to put that in there. The instruction manual says tools required for installation 4mm and 5mm Allen wrenches, 8mm and 10mm wrenches. Yun. Sobrang crucial yan. So it was small and big. The big ones go on the rack. The shorter ones you use to attach the rack to the frame of the bike. So, the first time I did it, I did this all wrong. If I did read the manual, you would actually see that the side strut should be attached on the outer part, not the inner part, on the outer. I had to redo everything again and it was kind of difficult not having the right tools. Oh, that's the part when I realized na, oh, mali, na, mali yung gawa ko. And, <laughs> woo! Pero in-adjust ko na lang yung tamang height. Anyways, so. washers for each bolt one on bolt head side and one on nut side both screws come from nylock blue patch okay may lock tight yung nag-attach sa sa frame fit nuts locking round side out or flat side in dapat sa labas I'd like to stress the part uh, you need the right tools and the wrench Kunayan barely did the job.
So after everything is assembled, it's pretty straightforward. Adjusted the strut legs, uh, screwed it on the third hole, para sakting level, and then I just put it on where the old brack was. Uh, just screw on first and the drop out eyelet and then this part right here just make sure to screw them on nice and tight yeah, the other side too and then you tighten everything including uh, these parts too what do you call them front stay fix point not sure basta yan whatever that part is called just make sure everything is leveled nice and tight here's another tip do the red if you don't have the tool the right tools do the red reflector first before mounting the rack on the bike Kasi nahihirapan na kong ikabit yun eh. Nahihirapan ko ipihit. Anyway, there you go. Looks nice. No problems when it comes to folding it. Alright, different day. It comes with a bungee cord. And merong some sort of eyelet. Okay. There you go. Okay, field test natin. Ito ba yun? Generally, walang hips drive. Meron, pag medyo... Meron, kung medyo pangit ng position ng pa. Generally, yan, mas maluwag siya kaysa sa lumang rack. And, yun. Yung feel ng ride, medyo bumigat, mabigat din dala ko eh. Pero, generally, bumigat talaga siya. Okay, so I like how it looks and how it rides kind of a bit low and uh, meron pala ako dagdag lang meron din pala ako. Uh, mention ko lang din na uh, nung pagbili ko ng turn bumili din ako kagad upgrade din kagad ng luggage truss and kanga rack. Problema na sa luggage truss or kanga rack you can di mo pwedeng bigatan yung load. Um Maniba, may issue din ako sa ito sa, belt, sa bungee cord pag ikakabit mo yung ano yung conflict pag ikakabit mo yung bag tumata so, tumama kanina pero yun it's in the way in the way ah Yep. Sort of hassle. So, minor. Siguro, ayan o, tumatama din o. Dito, suwabi lang. Okay. 
Yeah, sa kabilang dito, sa kabilang side. Kasi walang tumatama. So, actually, pwede naman dito sa dulo. Problema ko dito sa dulo. Pag wala masyado dala. Ayun, yun, yun. Ito yung lapit niya dun sa cogs. Less oh. likely deformed na kasi yung Yung issue na yan, baka dahil sa bag ko lang, it na might not be an issue with other Pero bags. Siguro kung derecho to, may nakaprotrude eh. Siguro kung derecho yan, uh, walang issue do. By the way, kanina, kumalas to. Kumalas, hindi ko na napakita yung video. Pero kumalas kasi hindi ko na tighten yung bolts. I really like how it looks and I like how it kind of rides kind of low but it did feel a bit sluggish even without the panniers Dala ko rin to on a different day and there was some lifting feel na feel ko yung bigat so you might want to reconsider if you're going to bring this on a bimodal commute kung dadanin mo sa LRT MRT na may buhatan parang extra okay uh, konting recap lang or in conclusion uh, I still like it. I like how it looks. Um, may mga issues. Baka pwede rin explore yung turn loader rack and turn traveler rack. Otherwise, um, get it lang. Yeah, so, hopefully nakatulong sa inyo yung video na to. Content, uh, please like and uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell. By the way, bumili na rin on tools and the uh, challenge. Ayan, so hopefully, nakatulong sa inyo yung video na to and Thanks for watching.